I, there wasn't any language barrier, <laughs> you know, uh, because there was uh, an interpreter on set and um, my my family could sign. The only thing I struggled with was fighting. I had to learn and I got a lot of support and I got training. <music> I'm Nukolo Jamene and I play Dima. I, my name is Kosi, Lita, and I play the role of CA. Amazing guys, congratulations on making it to that key role. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You know, like, you know, my number <laughs> reboots. Yes! huge, mm -hmm. and on a Netflix scale. Like, how are you guys feeling? How was the experience in shooting this production? I'm excited. I think any new uh, film or any production that we've worked so hard for coming out is always like a, we actually did it, guys. We actually reached the end. <laughs> you know, it happened. The movie's coming out. Uh, it's always exciting. It's always, because not every film comes out, to be very honest. So we made it. Um, it's been a great experience. Uh, got to work with amazing people. Um, that's always a, a very big thing for me. I love working with amazing people and I was blessed enough to work with amazing people and meet new people. Mm. Ah, meet you. Well, ah, okay. work with you like closely, okay, work with closely. you closely. But it was the first time working with Max and um, it was phenomenal. It was just, it was a big party of a whole lot of action and sweating and um, just really great storytelling. <laughs> so it was overall really beautiful experience. Yeah. Yeah. Kosi, how did you see the process? Oh, the process was gruesome, man. <laughs> it's nerve wracking, <laughs> you know, because um, I felt pressured to keep up with everyone since I haven't done anything like this. You know, it was my first, it was like, yo, you need to keep up, you need to be on their level. Are you doing good enough? You know, you have questions that you ask throughout uh, the process. But um, like I would always say, the people make it easier. Mm -hmm. mm. The people make it more comfortable for you. They make you, they make the job much more easier, easier for you to execute. Even if you do make a mistake, it's all like, well, we've all been there. Yeah. It's not just you, you understand. So that has helped me throughout. Um, a lot of times I was nervous and I was like giving bloopers. A lot of bloopers. You know, the language, how Terry was strict on it. Mm. How Donovan was like, hey, yo, you need to move. You need to move. You shoot. Go, go fast. In, out. Um, amazing experience overall. I enjoyed the process. We've bonded. We've become family. And yeah, it's it's great meeting so many personalities because it then helps you envision something more than what you where you are. Where you are, yeah. you 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 now envision yourself doing more, yeah. doing greater things, and it's an inspiration being around people like this. Doing Netflix things. Uh -huh. Doing yeah. Netflix things. You know, you know. <laughs> and um, Kolisi, how did you receive the production you grew up? You know, you guys are all siblings in the production. And there were a lot of combat fighting sequences, language barriers. How did you, how did you experience that? Um... I, there wasn't any language barrier, <laughs> you know, uh, because there was uh, an interpreter on set and um, my my family could sign. The only thing I struggled with was fighting. I had to learn and I got a lot of support and I got training. We would train before. Um, so, which really helped because I can't fight to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> So it was really good, and also just 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 to gain more skills. Yes, yeah. Uh, but also, it was just very supportive. 
Mm-hmm. If I didn't know anything, um, I really got support. It really felt like a real family other than just acting. And being the only deaf person in the group, I didn't feel that. That's amazing. I mean, you did such incredible work. Um, you guys were quite the ensemble. Oh, nice that's the best. The that is the best. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the dance elements. Like, Noxie, this is not your first dance. It's not my first rodeo. (laughs) (laughs) It's not. But talk me through, like, the choreography within, like, the fight sequences and the dance element that you guys brought to the table. You know, and I always say, like, Donovan really maximizes on our talents and skills. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like, oh, you all dance? Perfect. (laughs) We're putting it in there. You know, but (laughs) I'm also... I think also what it does is it really brought us together, yeah. especially the dancing, because we have our own like little, you know, little dance yeah. that we obviously probably do at home and we practice together. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. And no, 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 like, you know, and that definitely brings people together. Um, but uh, with the with the stance, um, what did you ask about the stance again? Just how... The whole process was uh, much like dancing. To yeah. be very honest, stunt work and uh, dancing is literally the same thing. Everything is choreographed. You want to do it the same, so you don't hurt anybody with anything. Um, we try to keep <laughs> you, kick I, you try to keep it constant. Like like this is what it's gonna be, you know. But it's not always the case, you know. <laughs> you always get the stunt guys, and are just like, it's fine, kick, kick me, me up, kick me up. And I'm just like, sir, I'm not trying. <laughs> and to she kicked someone. I, I'm, yes, yes. But I didn't want to hurt him. And he's like, yeah, I think that was our best one. I'm like, it's always the best one. The one where someone gets hurt, you know. But it's all the same thing. And it definitely brought us all together. um, Because we're meeting off set. And we're getting to actually spend time together. And in rehearsals. And it's just ourselves. And I think that also really helped with um, with the chemistry as well. Yeah. And it was executed while on screen, you guys. Thank right? you. Thank you. Natty, brothers and sisters for it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's Remote. how we like it. Yeah. Remote. Let's talk about um, the script, Jose. Mm-hmm. There were quite a lot of nuances. You could close your eyes and it could still be like a very brilliant film. The text was just that great. Tell me about how much freedom did you guys have? Like, Damn, I executed it that well? <laughs> Was it that well? Uh, I, I can mean, close your eyes. I, mean, I can close my eyes and, and still say, enjoy. Uh, I mean, we've had ample freedom, as uh, Nakola said. Um, mm. Donovan would make you do it again and again and again and again and again and again, which allows you to play with it, play with the lines, say different. How does you? How would you like it? Would you like it like this? Would you like it like this? Would you, like it like this? <laughs> you know, you had freedom. You had freedom in that way. Uh, that you, you we shot it over and over and over and over, which allowed you to become more comfortable and execute it to your best ability. Mm. So it left no room for you for excuses. Another thing is, um, like, because obviously Donovan speaks English, um, and we all speak Vinac, mm. um, he allows us to play with the script enough to really express how we are feeling. You know, so if it says damn, I'm so mad, you know? And that's what's written. How you'd say Kasutu is completely different. Mm. You know, you know, but he just, he wants you to say it as authentically as possible. So he allows freedom. Like the Kosa speakers in the movie, they right. took that script and they, they oh, played with that text <laughs> completely. And the Zulu, and it's so beautiful. Mm. It colors everything. Yeah. It absolutely colors everything. And I love that he trusts us enough to do that. You know, um, say that's my little two cents. Sorry. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's good. It's good. And also, it Very also good. helped a lot that the tear was there, especially for Sisutu. <laughs> and you'd be like, that doesn't sound right. No. <laughs> that doesn't sound yes. right. And you know, acting with Mom Clementine, Fana Mokwena, these are our veterans. How was it working with them? I mean, you guys are a younger crowd, they're very formidable actors, you know. How was it? Very humbling. <laughs> you definitely want to take something from the yes. experience. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you don't turn a blind eye. You have as many chats as you you can. You know, and you know what's so beautiful? Like I worked, we work closely with Mom Clementine because she's our mother. Yeah. Um, 
and she's so giving in like information and how to kind of um take care of yourself in the industry you know but also you see how she carries herself in the space and you go you know what she's been here for so long and she's been able to sustain it for so long that i should probably pick up a couple of nuggets from here mm-hmm. just to to know how to to carry this on for as long as possible um yeah 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 so in kadzabo they had actual real heists so yeah. i think that's where they get their nerve and their grip from what did you guys take reference to to um, pull off these characters <laughs> i mean research research and I, i think most of us have experienced um like me I've, okay not uh, not heist. most of us me not like, not necessarily heist but robberies you understand mm. so i know how they be like hey wena let's tell you what or hey wena hey bring that man you wena so it's scary but then you 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 do your research you look at it and it's us telling our stories basically um i don't think anyone else uses that kind of lingo and that i don't know if i'm allowed to say but yeah that yeah. that that one that uh, israel pulls off that one <laughs> it's the scary one that one makes it south african authentic mm. no guys we're so excited thank you so much thank you beautiful work thank you thank you